Welcome to another Gindler Barn interview, this time with one of those rascally apprentices who's about to introduce himself to you as if you knew nothing about who he is, where he's <laughs> from, or why in the world anybody would do something as ridiculous as work out here in Collinsville, Illinois, in the heat and humidity when he came from a much more civilized place. Take it away, kid. All right, my name is Brian Malone. I'm from Underhill, Vermont, and uh, I have a background in civil engineering. And so I worked, worked for a civil engineering company for a few years, but I decided I want to work with my hands and I like working with wood. And you know, now I can be a designer and a builder. I can be an artist. Heck, we're here building, uh, rebuilding an old barn. I can be a historian. Cool. I love it. I like working with my hands and getting out here and dirty and sweaty and you know, seeing what we come up with. It's, it's great work. So what do you think? We're halfway through in terms of time. You think we'll make it? Yeah. Oh. I think so. You know, first couple days, we, it's a learning process for some people, including uh, myself and, and Joel here. <laughs> and uh, now we're moving right along. I think things are on schedule, and I think it's looking great. So you think it's maybe 62 degrees and 4% humidity in Underhill, Vermont today? Yeah, it's probably, probably, probably pretty nice there. Back in Massachusetts, Sorry. where the school is. <laughs> what school? The Hartwood School. I'm an apprentice uh, at the Hartwood School. And uh, spending the summer there under the direction of Will Beamer. Oh, I've heard about him. Yep, he's, yeah, he's he, tough. He's pretty good. <laughs> yep, and uh, so we're there taking a whole bunch of classes and coming to projects like this and getting our hands right into things and learning quickly. So what do you think will happen next? Next, uh, probably go get a job as a timber framer. Mm. Maybe do some timber frame design hopefully at some point. Mm. And what are you going to be when you grow up? A fireman. Nice. Any questions for us about how the guild operates or what's important or what's next? Um, I'm definitely interested in finding out, you know, what it's like to look for employment and what to expect when I'm out there when I'm working. But, you know, I'm getting a lot of good experience here working with these guys who are on the job sites every day. You know, they expect things to happen in a certain order at a certain pace and it's really good experience to be exposed to. I think they're slave drivers myself. But... Yeah, this is the sixth day of work. <laughs> well, talk to me at day 16. Yeah, I think we're getting to Nara. No. No? Not, not yet? Sorry. All right, well, I'll be on the floor sleeping. But the cool thing that I know about you guys is that this time, 10 days from now, you guys will be deep in the middle of the, the apprentice tour. Mm -hmm. And you'll be, I'm not sure what Will's told you about this, but it's an awesome experience, and I'm really bummed that I don't get to do it this year. Yeah. You're going to go up and down the Connecticut River Valley and over into Maine and visit some astonishing timber buildings, and more importantly, drop in on some really cool shops. Yeah, I mean, that's the greatest thing about the apprenticeship is all the different people that we get to meet and we get to work with. And, you know, we learn skills from all over the board. And the more people we talk to, the better. Pretty so, quick learning curve. So far then, who's the coolest person you've met in the whole guild? <laughs> I gotta go into Will Beamer. There you go. And Joel. <laughs> a close second. A close second. And I've also done uh, a bit of work with Josh Jackson. There you I go. I think he's taught me a lot. I think Josh is way cooler. You think? Oh, yeah. Hi, Josh. And yourself? <laughs> much cooler than me. Thank you very much. Just remember, friends, that television is the most destructive force in our culture. Standing by. I'd like to change my answer for the coolest person in the guild. And it's by far Michelle Beamer. Oh. She makes incredible lunches. And uh, I'm beginning to associate timber framing with uh, this level of quality of food. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard when I'm out That's where we all making my own. Yeah, exactly. And I gotta grow a big beard, That's right? right. <laughs> the tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? I have no tattoos Loser. that I can show on camera. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nothing yet. Maybe an English tying joint across my back someday. <laughs> Let me do the pegs. 